newest episode of Designated Survivor was really an awesome episode, and it really got to showcase some of the show's strong points. Uh, it, it really added some new cast members who are Congress people who will um, be affecting Kurt Mint's administration in the future. I could totally see them affecting his administration in the future. We also got to see a little bit more of uh, stress put on Tom Kurtman as president, and this overall it was a fantastic episode. So the, the interrogation starts off with this banquet they're having with all the Congress people, congressmen and congresswomen, or I mean uh, governors, and uh, and so Kurtman's giving this speech, and then a shooter tries to you know shoot up the White House, and so it's of course canceled, and uh, the FBI agent we've come to love, Mike Ritter, gets shot, or I mean the uh, the Secret Service member, uh, so we don't know what his fate's going to be till the end of the episode. But uh, so the whole thing's called off. Kirkman's taken to another room, and they eventually convene later on, in which they fi they figure out when they convene later on that the people won't vote for him as president unless he uh, basically closes the borders. That's the ultimate thing. But before that, they want to do an investigation to see if they think he should be president. And uh, Christine Eastbrook plays Governor Chris Nichols. She's this really antagonistic um, jerk uh, of a governor who is has an agenda, clearly. And, you know, she's out for the hunt for Kirkman because she was friends with uh, the uh, governor we saw, Royce, Governor Royce, who got arrested in the previous few episodes. So she, she does a great job with the character. She's aggressive, just like she needs to be. And she really seems like a threat to Kirkman. And she, like I said, she's one of the Congress people we'll see definitely later on and see her, um, you know, affect Kirkman's administration in a negative way. Uh, of course, we figure out more about the bombing. We figure out that it definitely for sure was not Al-Sahar, al Sakar, and that Hannah Q and, um, I mean, Hannah Wells and the uh, director of the FBI are going to have to investigate deeper into it. Uh, into the investigation figure out, okay, well, all this isn't adding up. Who really did do the bombing? Um, and, and on another note, because we've got, o got over all that great material, uh, Melina Scorfo Scorfano, I believe that's the actress's name, uh, plays Lisa Jordan. She's this reporter that sort of gets this, uh, you can tell she's going to get a relationship uh, with Seth, you know, the guy who's the spe was originally the speechwriter and who's going to be the... Uh, the, who is the speaker of, of for the president, and she plays Lisa Jordan in this, his, uh, and they sort of have that cool rapport. But I just I just want to mention her because I thought it was cool that she was in this show because I had recently watched the Why No Why Nona Earp and it was a really fun and interesting show. You should go check it out. But just seeing her as an actress getting more prominent roles on network television is fantastic. She's a great actress, and uh, of course she drops the bomb at the end of the episode that she knows that. She knows that, I believe, uh, Leo is not uh, Tom Kirkman's son. So that is a bomb that's dropped at the end of the episode, and we're left hanging. So it was really a fantastic episode. There's a lot of crazy plot points going on, and I don't feel like it was too cluttered. I guess my only complaint would be it seems like it was a little rushed. Uh, but, of course, we'll probably have some stuff to slow it down a little bit. Uh, in the previous week, but the thing is, the show, if it loses momentum, it's not going to be interesting anymore, it's going to become a week-to-week uh, -week procedural uh, political drama, so I like how they're sort of um, keeping things interesting, keeping things fresh, I really do think the writers uh, are killing it, so I'd have to give this episode the interrogation with, uh, considering all that went well with it, and all the different actors and actresses that put forth their best performances. I'd have to give this episode probably a um, 9.0 out of 10. This remains to be one of the strongest shows on television right now, and I would definitely recommend it to anybody. So I'd give The Interrogation, Episode 6, a 9.0 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Remember to like and subscribe for more. This has been Jonesy from Jones for TV, signing off.